napkin. Before we begin, two things. One, I apologize for the mess. That is my roommate. It's me. And the next one, we're just gonna kibosh this situation right now. Uh, I am an extra for the boy in the striped pajamas. Yeah. And for you ask in the comments, am I going to go to bars and try to pick up chicks with a cancer card? That is rude, misogynistic, disrespectful, and of course I am. Uh, so those who already reenact, you don't got to watch this shit. It's shit you already fucking know. This is for the new people looking to get into living history, reenacting, or historical airsoft. <laughs> The reason I'm making this is because a couple people have asked me, and I remember to when I first started. When I first started, it started with a couple YouTube videos, mainly watching Collective Nick on YouTube. And uh, who else did I watch? Studio T. It started off, I started watching Studio T and Collective Nick. And I went to a flea market that same weekend, I discovered them. And I saw Alice Pistol Belt. I'm like, wow, that's really fucking cool. I just watched a video on this. I want to start. Of course, I know now it was an incorrect pistol belt. But that kind of just snowballed into bigger and bigger things. But when I did get mainly the correct kit, I was still very confused and nervous how to start. Nervous because I was with any new hobby, it can see intimidating. Like, I remember going to a gym for the first time. I put a picture of Fatboy Rocker right here for those who aren't familiar with him. I was nervous to go inside a gym, you know? It was, it was intimidating, it was scared. And as with the gym, it is now probably the most wholesome environment I can be in. Same with reenacting. As with anything else, there's a lot of dickheads and assholes and fucking boomers. The equivalent to a boomer in the gym is the old naked dude who's just playing with his fucking balls. But uh, it, it was nerve-wracking to start. It really was. It was nervous to meet new people. I, I wasn't that good with speaking. I still can barely fucking speak English. I mean, you guys watch my videos. I mumble and stutter like a motherfucker. Half the videos I do, I record five or six times because it's so not inedible, uh, inaudible. In, inaudible. Somebody correct me. You can't understand what the fuck I'm saying. But uh, don't be nervous. It really is the fucking one of the best communities out there. A lot of my best friends I have right now are through the Vietnam community. It's again like Cole O'Neill. Sadly, he is my best friend. I live in a world where Cole fucking O'Neill is my best friend, and that, that that's fucking sad. Uh, so I want to tell you right now, don't be nervous about it. There's nothing to be nervous about. Your first event, you might be nervous going to, but I promise you're going to have a great time and you will be coming back from work no matter what direction you're going. Either it's World War One, Civil War, World War Two, or Vietnam. You're going to have a good fucking time. All right. There's amazing people. And you got to think, people that are in the same stuff as you probably have the same sense of humor as you. So there's a lot of like sick jokes that we tell in our group chats because we have the same fucking sense of humor. You know, shit that should be illegal. Like, this shit I say is like a hate crime in like 15 states, but me and the boys still laugh because we have the same fucking sense of humor. So it really is the best friends you're going to make. But how do you actually start? Well, there's a couple of different ways. I wouldn't say go out and start buying stuff because when I first started, I bought all the incorrect stuff. You're better off buying once in the right way. That being said... Sometimes groups aren't going to let you in if you don't have stuff. So it's better to go on Instagram or Facebook. First thing I would do is go on Facebook. Find what era you want to reenact. Join a couple Facebook pages. If it's World War II, you know, World War II reenactors, World War II reenactor help page, World War reenactor trades, trade page. There's a million different fucking pages on Facebook. You can put a question in there like, hey, is anyone from the state of fucking Idaho? You know, for the four people that live in fucking Idaho. Idaho. Does anyone live in Idaho? That has any reenacting groups. I'm sure you're going to find one, you know? Like, I'm from New England. There's not much going on in New England. Mainly, like, the Kilo events and Liberty. That's about it for Vietnam for me. But, um, I ended up just making my own group, small group, and we got absorbed <laughs> with Liberty. So that's that's how it usually goes, you know? You're going to make some friends that are around the same age as you. You know, me was in high school. So I had some other friends that were in high school, and we started showing Liberty together. And now we're just basically part of Liberty. But we also go to, like, the Communist Foundation events. So again, this is pretty outdated stuff. I haven't been to a reenactment in about two years now with fucking army bullshit. But this summer I'll be back at it. And I want to see new faces in reenacting. I mean, this, this is what I'm really looking forward to when I come home. 
is reenacted. <laughs> I'm looking forward to driving my car and reenacting. So, the best you can do is, like I said, join Facebook, ask around, and just keep open about it, you know? You're always going to find random people. I mean, I've met random people at airsoft team fields that had really good Vietnam kit, that weren't part of any groups, and I'm like, hey man, I go to Liberty Canyon, it's just, it's just like three to four day long airsoft event in fucking the woods of bumfuck Vermont, would you want to come? They're like, wow, I just met you. Yeah, I'd love to come to the woods of Vermont. So it, it really is, you, you just got to get out of there. That's, that's all it really is. It's really easy to find the groups once you get the connections. You get connections fucking fast, especially if you start off and you do your research and you buy the right gear. Nothing to worry about. A lot of these groups too, if you see you're really that interested, like a guy like me, I have like seven sets of web gear, you know? If I find some somebody who's actually really fucking interested in this and wants to give it a go and doesn't want to waste money on it just to find out he doesn't like it, Hey, bro, I have an extra set of web gear. Just buy fucking boots. I don't have boots or size. Buy boots and a t-shirt and underwear, and I'll supply you the rest. You know? Or, I, or I have it all. You can wear my fucking underwear. We can take turns. That's really all it is. It's just a lot of outreach. You just got to get out there on Facebook, and you're going to find a group. It's that simple. Go on Facebook. You're going to find a group. Or just go to a local airsofting group. Or just fucking start going to, like, museums, you know? Like... Like, uh, like, example, the Collins Foundation. There was a huge living history event. It was like a, it was like a two-day weekend, where there was all kinds of different eras. I have the video on my YouTube somewhere. There's some rude Nazis. I mean, you're gonna see in the video. Not everyone is really that opening. There were some rude fucking Germans. Uh, but I mean, I remember towards the end of the event, we're fucking doing ambushes with the fucking people dressing up as Civil War. I mean, it really is a good time. And you're going to find a lot of good people there. So you can even go to a living history event and make friends there. I mean, I met Cole O'Neill the first time in Orange Mass doing a living history event. I was just sitting in a hole I dug, Vietnam, and he came over. He's wearing a fucking cowboy hat, like a fucking tool. And we started talking, and he hits me up on Instagram. Like, three months later, he goes, hey, I don't remember you or not. We met at Collins Foundation. I'm like, yeah, you know, I saw that tight ass walking away and I wanted a fucking piece. But uh, it's that simple, man. Just just go go to go on Facebook, try to go on a group, or go to a living history event and try to find a group there. They're very opening. Age usually doesn't even matter that much. I mean, I started when I was fucking 14 or 15. A lot of groups are going to say you need to be 18, but realistically, that's not what's going on. I mean, I remember my dad was kind of nervous the first time, you know, that his fucking... 14-year-old son was going to go in the woods with a ton of old men playing dress-up, but it really is it's a safe, opening community. So, uh, 